The 2015 Cricket World Cup, officially known as ICC Cricket World Cup 2015, was the 11th Cricket World Cup jointly hosted by Australia and New Zealand from the 14th of February to the 29th of March 2015. Australia defeated New Zealand by 7 wickets to win their 5th ICC Cricket World Cup. 14 teams played 49 matches in 14 venues, with Australia staging 26 games at grounds in Adelaide, Brisbane, Canberra, Hobart, Melbourne, Perth and Sydney while New Zealand hosted 23 games in Auckland, Christchurch, Dunedin, Hamilton, Napier, Nelson and Wellington. The hosting rights were awarded at the same time as those of the 2011 Cricket World Cup, which Australia and New Zealand had originally bid to host, and the 2019 Cricket World Cup, which was awarded to England. The 2011 tournament was awarded to the four Asian Test cricket playing countries, India, Pakistan, Sri Lanka and Bangladesh Pakistan later lost the co-hosting rights due to a terrorist attack on the Sri Lankan team. The International Cricket Council were sufficiently impressed with the Trans-Tasman bid that it was decided to award the next World Cup to Australia and New Zealand. This was the second time the tournament was held in Australia and New Zealand, with the first being the 1992 Cricket World Cup. India were the defending champions, having won the tournament in 2011. Tickets for the Pool B match between India and Pakistan, played on 15 February 2015, reportedly sold out within 12 minutes of going on sale. The final match of the tournament took place at the Melbourne Cricket Ground between co hosts New Zealand and Australia in front of a record crowd of 93,013, while the average attendance throughout the tournament was 21,175, resulting from the cumulative tournament attendance of 1 million. 16,420 and a washed out game between Australia and Bangladesh in Brisbane for which no attendance figures were available. The 2015 Cricket World Cup is estimated to have been watched by over 1.5 billion people. The most widely watched match during the tournament was India vs. Pakistan, which is estimated to have drawn over 1 billion viewers. Topic: Host selection. Topic: Bids. The ICC announced the hosts for the previous World Cup, the 2011 competition, on the 30th of April 2006. Australia and New Zealand had also bid for the tournament and a successful Australasian bid for the 2011 World Cup would have seen a 50–50 split in games, with the final still up for negotiation. The Trans-Tasman bid, Beyond Boundaries, was the only bid for 2011 delivered to the ICC headquarters at Dubai before the 1 March deadline. Considerable merits of the bid included the superior venues and infrastructure, and the total support of the Australian and New Zealand governments on tax and custom issues during the tournament, according to Cricket Australia Chief Executive James Sutherland. The New Zealand government had also assured that the Zimbabwean team would be allowed to take part in the tournament after political discussions about whether their team would be allowed to tour Zimbabwe in 2005. ICC President Asan Mani said that the extra time required by the Asian bloc to hand over its bid had harmed the four nation bid. However, when it came to the voting, the Asians won by seven votes to four. According to the Pakistan Cricket Board, PCB, it was the vote of the West Indies Cricket Board, WICB, that turned the matter. It was reported in Pakistani newspaper Don that the Asian countries promised to hold fundraising events for West Indian cricket during the 2007 Cricket World Cup, which may have influenced the vote. However, I.S. 
Bindra, chairman of the monitoring committee of the Asian bid, denied that, saying that it was their promise of extra profits of $400 million that swung the vote their way. The ICC was so impressed by the efficiency of the Trans Tasman bid that they decided to award the next World Cup, to be held in 2015, to them. Australia and New Zealand last jointly hosted the Cricket World Cup in 1992. Topic Format The tournament featured 14 teams, the same number as the 2011 World Cup, giving associate and affiliate member nations a chance to participate. The format was the same as the 2011 edition. 14 teams take part in the initial stages, divided into two groups of seven. The seven teams play each other once before the top four teams from each group qualify for the quarter finals. On 29 January 2015, ICC reinstated the use of the Super Over for Cricket World Cup final match if the match finished as a tie. Qualification For ICC regulations, the ten ICC full member nations qualify for the tournament automatically. Immediately after the 2011 World Cup, it was decided that the next tournament would be reduced to only feature the ten full members. This was met with heavy criticism from a number of associate nations, especially from the Ireland cricket team, who had performed well in 2007 and 2011, including victories over Pakistan and England, both full member nations. Following support shown by the ICC Cricket Committee for a qualification process, the ICC retracted their decision in June 2011 and decided that 14 teams would participate in the 2015 World Cup, including four associate or affiliate member nations. At the ICC Chief Executives Committee meeting in September 2011, the ICC decided on a new qualifying format. The top two teams of the 2011–13 ICC World Cricket League Championship qualify directly. The remaining six teams join the third and fourth place teams of 2011 ICC World Cricket League Division II and the top two teams of 2013 ICC World Cricket League Division III in a 10 team World Cup qualifier to decide the remaining two places. On 9 July 2013, as a result of a tied match against the Netherlands, Ireland became the first country to qualify for the 2015 World Cup. On 4 October 2013, Afghanistan qualified for their first Cricket World Cup after beating Kenya to finish in second place behind Ireland. Scotland defeated the United Arab Emirates in the final of the 2014 Cricket World Cup qualifier, and both teams qualified for the last two spots in the 2015 Cricket World Cup. Topic. Preparations Topic Local Organizing Committee In preparation for the 2015 Cricket World Cup, the organizing committee of the tournament was finalized. John Harnden was named chief executive, James Strong as chairman, and Ralph Waters was named as the deputy chairman. Topic. Allocation of matches When Australia and New Zealand bid for the 2011 Cricket World Cup in 2006, they said that it will see a 50–50 split in games. Finally, it was decided on 30 July 2013 that Australia would host 26 matches, while New Zealand got a share of 23 matches in the tournament. There was a tense battle between Melbourne and Sydney to host the final. On 30 July 2013, it was announced that Melbourne would host the final, with Sydney and Auckland hosting the semi-finals. Visas <laughs> 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 
It was announced that spectators travelling to World Cup matches in New Zealand who would otherwise not be entitled to a visa waiver, would be able to enter New Zealand if they held an Australian visitor visa. This was a special Trans-Tasman visa arrangement for the 2015 Cricket World Cup. Media and promotion The World Cup has grown as a media event with each tournament. The International Cricket Council has sold the rights for broadcasting of the 2015 Cricket World Cup for $2 billion to ESPN Star Sports and Star Sports. According to Strong, the local organizing committee wants to make the tournament the most fan-friendly event of its kind and take cricket to a wide range of communities throughout Australia and New Zealand. Sachin Tendulkar was named by the ICC as the World Cup ambassador for the second time after filling the role at the 2011 Cricket World Cup. Topic: <laughs> Broadcasting rights. The following networks broadcast the tournament. Topic: Opening Ceremony. The opening ceremonies were held separately in Christchurch, New Zealand and Melbourne, Australia on the 12th of February 2015, 2 days before the first two matches. Topic: Prize money. The International Cricket Council declared a total prize money pool of ten million dollars for the tournament, which was twenty percent more than the 2011 edition. The prize money was distributed according to the performance of the team, as follows. This means that if the winner had remained undefeated throughout the group stage of the tournament, they would have won a total of $4,245,000 winner's prize plus $45,000 for each group stage win, while a team eliminated in the group stage without any wins would have gotten $35,000. Each venue hosted three pool stage matches. The quarter-finals were in Sydney, Melbourne, Adelaide and Wellington, the semi-finals were played in Auckland and Sydney, and the final was played in Melbourne. Umpires The umpire selection panel selected 20 umpires to officiate at the World Cup, five each from Australia and England, five from Asia, two each from New Zealand and South Africa and one from the West Indies. <laughs> Squads The teams, after initially naming a provisional 30-member squad, were required to finalize a 15-member squad for the tournament on or before 7 January 2015. Warm-up matches Fourteen non-ODI warm-up matches were played from 8 to 13 February. Topic Group Stage A total of forty two matches were played throughout the group stage of the tournament. The top four teams from each pool qualified for the quarter finals. In the event that two or more teams are tied on points after six matches, the team with the most number of wins was to be ranked higher. If tied teams also had the same number of wins then they had to be ranked according to net run rate. Topic: <laughs> Pool A. Advanced to knockout stage. Topic: <laughs> Pool B. 
advanced to knockout stage. Topic: Knockout stage. While the dates and venues were fixed, which matchup they host was subject to change to accommodate the host countries should they qualify. Both hosts qualified for the quarterfinals. Australia played the match on the 20th of March in Adelaide, and New Zealand played the match on the 21st of March in Wellington. Since Sri Lanka, the next highest ranked team, progressed to the quarterfinals, they played in Sydney. If England had advanced, as they were the third highest ranked team, they would have played in Melbourne. As England failed to qualify for the quarterfinals, Bangladesh took their place. The teams from each pool was paired based on the A1VB4, A2VB3, A3VB2, A4VB1 format. New Zealand's semi-final against South Africa was played on the 24th of March in Auckland, while Australia's semi-final against India was played on the 26th of March in Sydney. Both the host nations qualified for the final, where Australia defeated New Zealand by 7 wickets. Topic: Quarterfinals. Topic: Semifinals. Topic: Final. Topic: Statistics. Topic Most Runs Topic Most Wickets Topic Controversies The Pool A match between Australia and England ended when James Anderson was run out straight after James Taylor was given out LBW. Because Taylor's decision was reviewed and overturned, the ICC later admitted that the ball should have been declared dead according to Article 3.60 of Appendix 6 of the Decision Review System Playing Conditions, and so Anderson was incorrectly given out. During the Pool B match between Ireland and Zimbabwe, Sean Williams was caught by Ireland's John Mooney in a close run chase. Mooney was extremely close to the boundary and eight different television replays were inconclusive as to whether his foot had touched the boundary rope. Meanwhile, Williams had walked and the umpires signalled him out. During the second quarterfinal match between India and Bangladesh, Rubel Hossein bowled a full toss to Rohit Sharma who was caught at square leg. The umpire thought the ball was too high and declared it a no ball, meaning the batsman was not out. Replays showed that the ball was waist height, and therefore a legal delivery. The ICC's Bangladeshi president, Mustafa Kamal, later questioned the integrity of the umpire and threatened to resign in protest and Bangladesh's Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina said India won the match because of umpiring errors. However, ICC Chief Executive Dave Richardson claimed the accusations were baseless, and based on personal feelings of an individual. He said the incident was a 50-50 call and the decision belonged to the umpire. See also List of Cricket World Cup centuries <laughs>